Hey everybody, welcome to the Bark Parm Podcast. You know, something interesting that I've noticed with uh, Kamala Harris is that, you know, she never really talks about her father. And again, I'm somebody that I follow politics, Democrat, Republican, like I'm a person where I'm constantly following whatever's going on in politics. And the one thing I've noticed is that you have to do a bunch of research to find out, you know, who her father was and what he did and, you know, different things like that. But she never talks about her dad. And I don't know if they have a good relationship or bad relationship, but, you know, most people would say, you know, oh, well, you know, I come from a family that did X, Y, and Z. My mother was this, my father was that. And for some reason, you never see her, you know, come to any events with her father. You never see her father, you know, you don't see him on a campaign trail. I mean, you would think that she was born to a single mother. And, you know, especially as a quote unquote black woman, you know, you would think that she would say, oh, well, you know, I come from a father that, that did X, Y, and Z. But, she, you know, for some reason, acts like her father doesn't exist. And, you know, it's just strange to me. And I think that during this campaign, they're hiding a lot of different things about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris was somebody who, in 2020, people didn't, she ran in 2020, people didn't really accept her. And, you know, I think she was almost a Trojan horse. Like they said, well, the Democrats said, you know what, we'll get Biden in there. And then, we're going to tell Biden to step down so you get your chance. I think this was the plan for a lot of these liberal Democrats. They wanted somebody who was going to be a female Gavin Newsom. And so, you know, people can say all they want, but they knew Kamala Harris didn't stand a chance if she ran by herself. You know, she campaigned in 2020 and she ended up losing. She had to basically stop her campaign. And um, I think they said, you know what, we're going to put you up there with Joe Biden. Joe Biden will get in there. Joe Biden will have a turn to run the government. And then we're going to give you a turn to be able to push our agenda. And I, 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 I say this with uh, just, again, a lot of concern, but we're going to get Gavin Newsom, the female version of Gavin Newsom in the White House. And so you see all the problems that are happening in California. That's what you're going to get with Kamala Harris. And a lot of stuff, you know, they're hiding behind the scenes with Kamala Harris. They're trying to act like, oh, well, she's some moderate and all this other stuff. No, you think things are bad under Joe Biden? Wait till you get Gavin Newsom with a wig in the White House. She's going to be ultra liberal. A lot of these uh, things with the LGBT community where women can, where men can play women's sports and stuff like that, that's going to be, you know, passed all across the board. Some of these. Uh, the laws with illegal immigration, those are going to be basically put on the back burner. So uh, you're going to have basically a California Gavin Newsom style politician run America. And you think the problems with immigration are bad under Joe Biden. Wait till you get Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris was somebody who was supposed to look after the border and things like that. She, what, she's only went, been down to the border, what, once or twice? I'm, I'm probably wrong on the numbers, but I think once so far. And this is a person that was supposed to be, you know, watching what's happening with immigration. And so uh, any black person that supports this woman is a fool. And if you think illegal immigration is bad now under Joe Biden and Kamala, wait till Kamala and Tim Waltz are running the show. I mean, that border is probably going to be so open. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they set up and say, you know what, we don't even have to finish the border wall. Let's just leave everything how it is. I mean, that's basically what you're going to get. So, I mean, you think that illegal immigration is bad now? Can you imagine another four years of just illegal immigrants coming across the border? They're already doing it right now. But just imagine how it's going to be in another four years with, uh, you know, the Kamala Harris administration running the show. I mean, our borders will be so open, it'll be a shame. And so in the comment section, let me know how you feel about what I'm saying. But, um... Don't you just find it odd that a quote unquote black female candidate wouldn't be talking about her family and talking about, you know, her uh, black father? You know, I think he's Jamaican, but, you know, it's just interesting that you don't even see this guy. You don't hear about him. It's almost just like he's just some mythical figure or something. So in the comment section, just let me know uh, how you feel about what I'm saying. Thank you.